I want to thank y'all so very much for all your sweet comments and messages that y'all sent me when I posted Daisy's video. Y'all are so sweet, so thank y'all so very much. And yeah, today's video is kind of like a few of my days kind of like all smashed together into like one vlog. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Hey y'all, I know, crazy right? I'm starting a vlog at night. Wow, I don't think I've ever, ever done this. Have I ever started filming when it's like 7.30 at night? No, I don't think I have. <laughs> but first time for everything, right? So yeah, good evening everybody. <laughs> but yeah, right now I am going to be sewing. It's a great time. Just so right, is my brain working right? Probably not, but you know, gotta just do this and I have to get done sewing. Honestly, I have been slacking at this. I should have already sewn a couple skirts, but I still haven't. I still, I just, so this skirt should already have been sewed or by now, but it's not, but it's okay. I'll just, Lord willing, finish it all tonight. It should not take that long. And I've watched a couple videos on skirts because I have made skirts before, but I was just, it's been a while, so I was just trying to like refresh my mind and kind of just relook at people's things of how they do it. And I didn't really see a way that I liked how they sewed it, so I kind of made it my own way. Is it going to work? I don't know. But I pray it does, and in my mind, it already seems like it's going to work. So I have this fabric here. This is, this is my idea. <laughs> I just, I see I'm just going to fold this in half, cut it to the length I want, and I'm just going to give myself an extra few inches. It's a little, 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 little girl skirt. And then I am just going to fold this down and sew it, so like a loop, so I can put my elastic in it. And then at the end, I'll just cut her waist size in the elastic, and then I'll just be all bunchy up here, and then it'll be really flowy and cute. I'm sorry, that probably made zero sense, but that's how I'm going to do it. And I'll bring y'all along as I do it this evening. And let's pray it works. Yeah, let's really pray this works. It's not that intense, you know. It's just a little skirt. <laughs> it shouldn't be. It should be fine. All right. Instead of talking about what I'm doing, how about I show y'all what I'm going to do. This should be my thumbnail. Ah! <laughs> No, actually, I probably will use it now that I said that I'm not. 2020, okay. Time to make the cut. Is that not blurry? Praise the Lord, not. Okay, so I just cut it, and I think I did a good job cutting it. So good job so far. <laughs> good job. <laughs> good job. <laughs> um, and so yeah, I have this piece now, and I am going to put it front to front here like this. And this part is already enclosed, the side. So I'm going to sew this other side together, and right now I'm just going to pin that together. So that is the next step, is pinning. Okay. Got it all pinned up. Now I'm just gonna sew it together. I just finished sewing down here and now I just folded this and this is where we're gonna put in our little waistband in here. So I think this is about the thickness I am going to need it. At. So I'm just going to pin this along right here and then I am going to sew it. Alrighty, so I just finished sewing it all together and now I'm just feeding the elastic through. So you got the elastic. So I'm just feeding it all the way through out to the other side. Just going to pull it all the way out. 
Okay, so I just finished sewing the elastic into the skirt and look y'all, it is turning out super cute. All I have to do now is measure how long she wants it and then I'll sew and fold up what's left of the fabric down here and then that'll be the end of it. All right, y'all, so I just finished and it turned out super, super cute. But before I show y'all, I just wanna say I'm sorry for my messy hair. It's just like, poof. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock right now at night, as you see. I got proof. <laughs> and y'all see it? So here it is. There it is, it's so cute. It turned out really good. I'm so happy of how it turned out. The pattern's super cute too. I'm gonna go shower and get to bed and I'll see you later. Y'all, I got a horse dropped off yesterday to work with. His name is Mr. Tough. I worked with this horse before like five months ago and he got really sick after I got done working with him after the guy took him home. And oh, but first y'all, look how pretty he is. Now when I say like a good looking horse, I'm like him. Like look how pretty he is. He's like this dark chocolate brown and his nose is like that orange and everything about him y'all, I really love everything about him. Like his shape and build, like big, barely, just huge. I love that. I just absolutely love that. He is so, so pretty. But as I was saying, yeah, he got really sick and then it took him a few months to recover. He's older, he's like 16, 15, 16 years old. So he's on senior feed now. So that's what really helped him boost him up and look really good again, as you see. Yeah, so then a few months passed and he just regained all of his weight. So he hasn't been worked with in like five months. But y'all, when the day that the guy brought him here like five months ago, like in May, Seriously, he was like the best horse I've ever ridden. So I'm praying things will go really well since he's such a great horse, like five months ago, but he's also just been sitting in a pasture for five months. So we'll see. And I, I'm only supposed to have him for three days. He's gone on Thursday and today's Tuesday. I'm excited to work with him. I love his big size. He's gotta be like 15 and a half hands tall. I would say he's close to 16 hands, not quite, he's like 15 and a half. He's really big, but I'm super excited to work with him. I haven't worked with a client horse in a while, and y'all saw my video of why I was taking a little break. Yeah, we'll be probably doing like one horse at a time, and so I got him in yesterday afternoon, so I'm excited. He's such a pretty horse. Everything is going really great so far. I got him all saddled up and I lunged him around. He's doing really great with his groundwork. When I saddled him and lunged him, he just showed no signs of bucking. And so I think we're good. If he was like bucking with the saddle, I might have just started riding him tomorrow just to get like extra groundwork in. But since he's doing great with the saddle and groundwork, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and ride him. So yeah, he's doing really good. And he probably just doesn't like his pink saddle fat. <laughs> He's like, why am I wearing pink? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
All right, I just untacked him and just finished riding him. We had a really good ride. I broke him into a pretty good sweat, so that's really good. And I think I'm just gonna brush him up a little bit. I'll probably hose him down because he's all sweaty. And then after that, I'm gonna feed him his breakfast, clean up his stall, and then that's good for him today. So that's great. And then probably go inside. I have some chores to do inside. I just like to get him done first thing after I can do my Bible time. And I brought down my breakfast, my shake in here. I put spinach, banana, strawberry, and oats, and almond milk, and a splash of orange juice. That's what I put in it. Um, yesterday I went to the dentist and they redid my braces. So it was really sore this time and they're still hurt like when I eat stuff. So I'm gonna be living off shakes for the next couple days, which is fine with me because that's pretty much <laughs> all I eat anyway. But anyways, y'all, I'm gonna finish him up and then I'll catch y'all later. Good morning, y'all. It is so cold this morning. It's like 45 degrees. It's so cold. <laughs> but y'all, I never told y'all that we hatched out some more chicks in our incubator. We put in mostly a lot of our Moran eggs because we only have one Moran hen. So we put in a lot of, yeah, Moran eggs. We just collected them over time from our one hen because we wanted more Moran hens because we only have one. And out of all the eggs we put in, I'm not 100% sure about how many eggs we put in. I think we put in, it had to have been close to 20. It had to have been, but we only got three chicks. So it was kind of funny because usually you get like half the amount, so we should maybe got closer to 10 chicks, but we didn't. We only got the three, and what we're thinking is maybe because some of the eggs are a lot older, because we're getting like one egg like every day or every other day, so we could just cap them. Maybe some of them are old or I don't know, but she was with a few roosters, so I'm sure they were all, they were all fertilized. One we're thinking is Americana and Moran because it was from a blue egg. We put in a couple other eggs too. This is one of the chicks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> They're so cute. And then this is the one that we're thinking that's a, a mix. So cute. I love this one's coloring. And I just pray that most of these are heads. Do y'all want to see something crazy? Well, it's crazily amazing. Look at this basil. Isn't that crazy? Look, some of our pots are falling down because it's so tall. They're more like basil trees. But there's so much basil. We didn't even know it would grow so well. And we just put it right here next to the house. And then we're like, oh, we'll see if it grows. You know, we've had a couple small plants and then it just took off like crazy. So we're probably gonna be drying some of it out today and canning it all up because since it's getting colder, it's probably just gonna all dry up. And then as you see, it's all on the ground now because it's way too tall. But yeah, that's a lot of basil. It's so amazing how much basil we got. And it's such a blessing, all this basil. And over here, we have some cilantro that we grew. We're probably gonna have to pick that soon too. And then we have some orca right here. Actually, y'all like really nice outside. I mean, it's kind of cold, but it feels really good. It's not like that winter cold yet. It's still like that crisp, cool fall air. I love when all the leaves are on the ground too. It's like my favorite season. Oh, it's so nice outside. It's actually really nice. It's a little bit cold, but it's really nice outside. But y'all, right now, I just came down here to the barn to feed one of my client horses. I got him in a couple days ago and I'm gonna be working with him here and all that and actually have not rode him yet so I'll probably do that later on today. First I have to go inside and get down some house chores. I just came down here to run down to feed him. I got him on some senior feed here 
and alfalfa. So yeah, I'm just gonna feed him, take off after him, and then I'm gonna head back inside. Y'all, this is Copper. He's a newer song to be working with here for a little bit, and he's, he's so cute. I love his coloring so much. He's such a sweet boy. He has a really, really good temperament, so that's always a very good thing. Is <laughs> he's trying to eat? <laughs> he's so cute, aren't you, boy? Alright y'all, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Here soon I'm going to have a couple horse training videos because I'm training a couple horses right now for other people. So yeah, those videos will probably be out here soon within the next week or so. I don't really know. But anyways, have a blessed day y'all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!